Hello friends. How you all are? I hope that you are in your pink health and you must are enjoying your session. So today's session is very interesting session and we are going to discuss about the deficiency diseases. The food which we eat every day is our diet. But the food which we are consuming every day in our diet, is it uh, important everyone to have a good nutrient in our diet? Yes, it is important. Otherwise, our body will be deficient for the nutrients. So children, let's go, uh, we'll start for the slide shows for the deficiency of our diseases. It is important for us to consume all the nutrients in our body to get appropriate amount of all nutrients. Then it leads to deficiency diseases. Now, first is deficiency diseases, that is diseases caused due to lack of nutrients over a long period in the diet are called deficiency diseases. It can be prevented by taking a balanced diet. So children, there are different types of deficiency diseases like protein deficiency, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals. And why this deficiency is caused to our body? Because lack of nutrients means less nutrients which is present in our diet, which is usually, usually a particular vitamin or mineral. So the person's diet, which is caused by lack of nutrients, is called deficiency disease. Now the first type is deficiency of carbohydrates. What are the deficiency of carbohydrates? Lack of intake of carbohydrates decreases body strength and body weight. It leads to lethargy. Lethargy means what children now? Lethargy means you feel a little bit lazy, inactivity and feeling of tiredness. Now, deficiency of carbohydrates causes obesity and malnutrition. Now we are going to see what is obesity. You can see the pictures over here. A boy is so much obese. Why? Because obesity means having too much body fat. And it is caused due to a lot of, lot of consumption of fat. And it increases your calorie in your body and this excess calories are stored as a fat in your body and you will become healthy and obese kind of person. So now we are going to see the uh, deficiency which is caused due to carbohydrates. That is a person having deficiency of carbohydrates must take food items rich in carbohydrates and milk is the best treatment for that person. Also, an excessive intake of carbohydrates makes you lazy and dull. It may result in obesity and malnutrition as a tool. And what is the deficiency in the carbohydrates leads to? It leads to body weakness and loss of stamina. Now, children, this is a new word that is malnutrition. What is malnutrition? You can observe this picture here, how these kids have become malnutrition. Now, malnutrition is a condition where the person or a child do not get enough nutrients to their body okay and this may be due to if a person do not get enough food and not enough food eat in a diet may be caused to the malnutrition okay children so next is undernutrition undernutrition means lack of adequate energy that is protein and micronutrients to meet basic requirements for body and it denotes insufficient intake of you know, like energy and nutrients. So different food supply different amounts of energy. Energy activity of body uses some amount of energy. And a person taking a balanced diet will generally take in the same number of calories are used up. Such a person maintains a good health condition children and you know his or her weight will generally remains constant. And improper diet in which nutrients are either not enough or are too much leading to health problems is called malnutrition. And malnutrition may be caused by both undernutrition as well as overnutrition. For example, I will give you one example of malnutrition. If a person takes in food that contains more calories that, than that are used up by his or her body, then he or she gains weight and may become obese. Now, obesity, as I said, that it is a condition of eating a lot of fats. And such people have high risk of getting a heart attack. And eating too little food also, on the other hand, leads to weight loss, weakness, restlessness, and lethargy. So this normally happens when people start dieting and do not eat properly food. So it's 
told that malnutrition where students or a person do not get a proper amount of food or proper nutrients to your body under nutrition which is the basic requirement for our body it denotes insufficient intake of energy and nutrients and nutrition and over nutrition in the sense of it leads to obesity when more calories are consumed now we can see the deficiency of protein now we have finished with the deficiency of carbohydrate now we are here to see the deficiency of protein so protein deficiency means what children protein deficiency is caused due to form of malnutrition where there is inadequate protein intake if your protein intake is less in your body the two deficiency you can have in your body that is first is quashiorkor and maramus so quashiorkor is a serious protein deficiency disease prevalent among babies and young children from ages 1 to 3 years mostly in africa asia and south america it is due to the deficiency of protein from a very young age and it is not treated early to the child may not survive in this what happens children uh, in the deficiency protein deficiency in quashiorkor the child is thin and shows stunted physical and mental growth the face is swelling off and the discoloration of hair also the skin looks pigmented rough and patchy now let's let's come to the maramus what is a maramus it occurs due to protein as well as carbohydrate deficiency disease it occurs due to undernourished of both proteins and carbohydrates and it is common in children below 1 year of age due to stoppage or replacement of mother's milk with poor diet and the symptoms of maramus is retarded physical and mental growth very thin and shriveled appearance and also the skin becomes dry and wrinkled and child suffers from repeated diarrhea so this both occurs due to the protein deficiency that is quashiorkor and maramus you can see the picture of maramus how the growth of uh, children is stunted and uh, physical and mental growth is retarded and also in quashiorkor you can see uh, the children who are, are among the ages from the ages of 1 to 3 are having stunted and physical mental growth so let's see the next slide of uh, deficiency due to proteins mostly it is caused in small children and you have to eat milk pulses egg meat fish mostly and quashiorkor is related to protein deficiency through calorie intake may be sufficient and maramus is starvation infant occurring due to over lack of calories now next is deficiency of fats okay now uh, fat deficiency is caused deficiency of fats causes rough skin and thinness of the body if you have fat deficiency then you may arise with skin problems and also when the essential fatty acids are missing from your diet then this is caused and fats get stored beneath the skin thus protecting us from heat and cold so deficiency of fats causes rough skin and thinness of the body children suffering from the deficiency of fats in their body should be provided with enough fats in their diet so this type of deficiency can also make it harder for your bum to heal so you can see this pictures of dry and scaly rash and loss of water from your skin so this is the deficiency of fats now today we are going to see the deficiency of vitamins which is very important in this chapter so what are the deficiency of vitamins the deficiency of vitamins in our diet leads to serious diseases and disabilities also it occurs due to imbalance in your diet if you are not taking a proper balanced diet then the deficiency may occurs and also imbalances in diet causes deficiency due to lack of nutrients lack of nutrients is less nutrients in your body now one by one we are going to discuss today only about vitamin and minerals deficiency that is vitamin a vitamin b1 it is also called as thiamine vitamin c vitamin d calcium iodine and iron so let's see what are the disorders of uh, vitamins and symptoms and its sources so vitamins are required by our body in a very small quantity so every vitamin and minerals are important whether they are in a small quantities but it is essential for our body to protect from the deficiency diseases so first is vitamin a vitamin a is 
the def deficiency of the night blindness and a child suffering from night blindness is unable to see in dim light and the symptoms are weak vision we can see the sources also here from which source we will get the vitamin a that is cod liver oil dairy products and herrings and egg yolk and uh, etc etc so vitamin a is important to your body because the deficiency this is caused by it is loss of vision and night blindness also symptoms you can see poor vision difficulty see in dim light and may lead to complete blindness so it may it also help in maintains the maintenance of the healthy tissues the importance is the enhances vision provides resistance to infections and keep your hair and skin healthy so next is vitamin b1 it is also called as thiamine now in this b1 it helps importance is that it helps in digestion and proper functioning of the heart and nerves and the deficiency disease caused by thiamine that is vitamin 1 is very very and the sources you can see here is grains like rice and whole wheat green leafy vegetables peas wheat oatmeal etc and the symptoms you can see in this is weak muscles light energy left for work nerves become weak patches on the skin swelling of the hands and feet and mostly this deficiency disease which affects the nervous system is because of vitamin b1 that is cause deficiency cause this very very and it also uh, symptoms you can see weakness in the body irritation of eyes skin and intestinal disorders So next go to the vitamin C this is a very 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 important vitamin which your body requires especially now in this day your immune system has become if your immune system has become weak you have to consume vitamin C in a more amount so deficiency disease caused is, is a person suffering with the disease has swelling and bleeding of gums you can also or uh, have the symptoms like yellowness on the face and weaknesses swelling of gums and weak teeth the deficiency this is caused in this is curvy okay so it also helps in healing wounds deals resistant to common cold and maintain healthy gums so curvy means what swelling and bleeding of gums so vitamin c is important it is also an antioxidant which protects the cholesterol and it prevents curvy now next is vitamin d vitamin d keeps the bones and teeth healthy and a disease in which bones get out shaped is rickets the deficiency disease caused due to lack of nutrient of vitamin d in our body causes rickets it means your bones become weak and it pain so it is synthesized in the human body by the skin under the influence of sunlight okay children so vitamin d is also important to your body and the sources of vitamin d is fish cod liver oil eggs milk butter etc and deficiency caused is rickets and symptoms you can see is weak bones with pain so next is calcium why do you need a calcium yes calcium is needed for hardening our bones and teeth and if a child does not get enough calcium his bones become soft so it is the important function is of calcium is teeth and bones also the deficiency caused due to calcium is stunted growth can cause also rickets and sources is dairy products fortified white bread especially milk and fatus food you have to take more intake so you get the nutrients next is iodine i iodine is also an important mineral deficiency of iron causes a condition called goiter or it is also called a thyroid thyroid gland functions the body uses energy and also body metabolism metabolism deficiency is particularly in children fall in the production of thyroid hormones and sources is milk egg yogurt and uh, so this mineral is also important in your body and the deficiency caused due to 
Iodine is goiter and symptom we can see is enlargement of thyroid glands on front and side of your neck. Next is iron. Iron helps in carrying oxygen round the body and shortage of iron in the body results in the disease called anemia. Fine. So, anemia and appetite is the deficiency disease and in this disease you can see the symptoms of the loss of weight. So, the sources you can see eggs, kidney, red meat, bread, green bread, etc. So, iron also functions for the production of hemoglobin in your red blood cells and to carry oxygen in your body. So, iron is also very important to your body. So, children, this was the vitamins which we discussed in the slide and Vitamin A, B1, Vitamin C, D and minerals like calcium, iron, iodine we discussed in this deficiency disease. So children, you should have your proper diet. So your diet should be balanced and all type of food you have to intake. So you will be healthy and fit and fine. So I hope you have understood this video. And if you have any query regarding this video, we will discuss. So thank you so much, dear students. Bye.